making cars moves us. What moves you? We'll enter a plea of not guilty to the charges contained within the indictment. Uh, request uh, trial by jury 12. 46-year-old Anthony Morcilla is facing charges of negligent homicide, child abuse, and leaving a child unattended in a motor vehicle. He showed up to court in a white button-down long sleeve shirt and a pair of jeans, but behind the stoic look on his face is a father tormented by a grievous mistake, according to his attorney Curtis Vandeveld. It was just two weeks ago when Morcilla forgot to take his two-year-old daughter Amanda to daycare. Instead, he went straight to work while police say he left her strapped to her car seat. It wasn't until seven hours later when Morcilla was believed to have returned to his car around 3 p.m. that he discovered her burnt body in his truck. He rushed her into the Superior Court Probation Office where he worked and sought help, but according to police, he already knew it was too late. Now Marcilla will be walking back into those same doors where he carried his daughter's lifeless body into just two weeks earlier. One of the factors that was being considered by the court relative to the conditions of release at the time of the last hearing was the possibility of the charge of uh, murder. Um, and that having been uh, not a part of the indicted uh, charges, we would ask that the court uh, further allow Mr. Morcilla to return to work. Judge Alberto Tolentino was hesitant to grant Morcilla's request, expressing concern for his co-workers, who may also be called to testify as witnesses in the case. You know, the issue with that is, is that uh, witnesses as well at the office, you know, are there. Um, and I think mean, the officers of the court that work in the probation office, if they understand that he is under a restriction not to speak about the case, will not speak right. to him. Any, uh, no objection, no objections? All right. All right, the defendant will be allowed to return to work, however, he still has to be at the house. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, all right. The attorney general's office had initially sought a first-degree murder charge, but after Marcilla's release to third-party custodians, it was lowered to a manslaughter charge. But even at that, a superior court grand jury rejected the manslaughter charge and indicted him only on the remaining charges. Meanwhile, Vandeveld acknowledges his client's involvement in Amanda's death, but maintains he is an innocent man. It's been a common occurrence, actually, uh, more frequently throughout other parts of the United States. It's not treated as a crime. It's treated as, as what it is. It's part of the human condition of us not being able to always remember everything that occurs. I believe that Mr. Morcilla is an innocent man who is consequently, though, going to endure long-term suffering because of the loss of his child.